must have had a budget to oh, stick dude. to. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing. Ah, hey, what if? Being the thumb, what if the, the thumbnail of the what if is right here. This is gonna be a universal intro from now on. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Until I can get more time, because I do have school. So much more yeah. release. I won't be able to post any really good intros. This is gonna be an intro for a while. So, I hope to see you later. Join the Discord server, link in the description. And let's get in to the what if. Special thanks to Six Meister for creating our awesome avatar. Go ahead and check out his Fiverr gig for more amazing designs. If you like the new avatar, you can go check him out in the link in the description. There will be a link to both of his Fiverr account, his Fiverr account for, I believe, um, their avatar creation and thumbnail creation. He comes, you can do it in multiple styles. Naruto, I believe Naruto being one of those styles, there was My Hero 2. And I would assume Bleach, but then I may be confused. So, go check out Six Meister. His YouTube channel will also be linked in the description, as will be his Discord. Go check him out. Links will all be down below. I will see now from here. Let's go into this video. It must be stuck in my chest. Parasite will blind me like the rest. I ain't no happy fucking pussy. Waste of time for less distress. For them, I'm lost. Just wrap his arms to neck. Trying to pull me like a bomb and have been at the press. See these low line pussies with a nerve to complain when you're the only fucking reason when they're stressing your brain. So, this would have started off with the Deku at a much age. Well, or, I say Deku at around age 8 years old. You see, Deku was born to, well, Quite literally one of the wealthiest families and that of Japan, being the Midorias, the people who were a part, who, um, his father being the head of Midoriya. And, well, to say the least, when he was born quirkless, it caused many problems. But those problems would eventually be fixed. Deku would adapt rather than being, you know, Focusing on his hero dream, which has always been at the back of his mind. He began he began to exhibit, you know, sort of a bratty, spoiled nature. More and acted more like a playboy even at a young age. The more it caused a lot of problems. Then one day Deku and his father would be leaving for a cruise. One over, um I think it's I know it was in the North China Sea, some it was somewhere near the North China. And as they were there, Deku's ship, I would say, would be attacked by villains, causing the ship to literally be capsized, Looks like some forcing trouble him and his father you alone like a onto stuff, a huh? rescue raft. His father, realizing Why that there would never be five for him in the center of five, would decide to come in <laughs> hopes of saving his son, in hopes of extending his son's <laughs> ability to survive at sea. <laughs> Killing um Izuku was screaming, seeing his father die in front of him. He would grab the gun. He would want to check it out, but he never do. He also saw an that island not, not which was pretty far but not too far away. In case he needed it, he would decide to give his father a proper burial at the island. Getting the boat um or getting the um raft to Island. It would be quite hard on taking Doria days on its own because remember he's only an eight year old boy, unlike Oliver, who I believe was, uh, he was in his early teens when he left. Maybe in his um early twenties. Late teens, early twenties, not late teens, early twenties. I'm talking about um CW Queen. So when Midoriya came um when Midoriya finally made it there, he wouldn't um Scout out the island. Well, scout out the area of the island in which he was. And when he realized there was no one there, he would place the gun, well, from the holster that his father had, and would begin to dig his father a grave. Along the time there, Izuku would actually meet other inhabitants of the island, who would train him in many things, even government, uh, even government officials who would take him off the island and bring him back. For time, Mizuku's skills grew, especially in hand-to-hand -hand combat, full of martial here. arts, if any Good day, um, soldier. and Want to give our anti-aircraft turret training program a spin? If you impress After me enough, a while, Deku was, what, I say, I like nine? a good fight. 
but only when I'm on the winning side. During his, during his time at the island, well, like I said, he learned many things. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. He also learned sword play and how, uh, so not so, sword, um, he learned as a kid, though. He learned the way of the sword and the usage of many weapons. He also learned many um, languages and fighting styles, how to interrogate his opponents, and much, much more from the people who came to the island and those who were already inhabiting it. By the time I say around six years were passed, Izuku would be around 15 so years old. When he would realize that he was trying to try to home, he would place him on himself a wig made, from, made of green hair. Izuku, having finally began to grow facial hair, a bit of a stubble over time, would um would decide to light a flare, um, which is just a um cloth on top of or wrapped around an arrow. He would shoot it at a pyre, lighting it, um, causing it to catch fire and catching the attention of of a fisherman who was island. The fisherman would make it there, seeing Izuku and asking for. Name. When he gave his name, he's Gloria the Fisherman. It would be surprising to say that he'd take him back that. home. He would thank him for climbing on board and would give a phone call to his own mother. His mother would ask who this was, only for him to reply that it was me. Go was surprised and told them to stop, to stop this foolishness. But her son had died six years ago with his father. Izuku would say he didn't die. Okay. Say that He's dad died, you. but he survived, and has been surviving for Another the past crime. six years, saying that he was coming home. He could hear his mother about to cry, oh, as he told we her to she just wait and he sent her a location, he would call her around the location. Uh, eventually, uh, some time passed, and they began to make it to the mainland of Japan, where blind, not partner. only would Inko be there, but multiple pro Europe. Take that, Kang! Along the lines of that, like, snipe, erase her head, and even... Never. They would be there to get Izuku and recover it, obviously, to get Izuku, you know, taken care of, making sure it, he oh, didn't yeah. have any too. Oh, yeah. Oh, was, yeah. The recovery girl would say, for being on an island for six years, he's surprisingly well nourished. And his body's quite jacked. He's, like, he's literally quite built for, you know, someone who was stranded on an island. And seeing the many scars that brittled his body. Izuku would walk to his mother as he would give her a hug and she would cry saying that she was so happy to see that he was alive as Izuku thanked his mother she would say let's go home sweet and that's exactly what they would do as they made their way home as Izuku got acclimated back knowing that in a All year's time engaged. would be time for okay. that to be which would be around age 17 compared to age uh, wait no I say I say 6 years 6 plus 9 is 15 right yeah 6 plus 9 is 15 and so the extra year would be, um, be 16 so he has around in the year which will be age 16 for him to get ready for that of the entrances during the time he will take control of Queen's Consolidated well, I mean, not Queen Consolidated, Doria Consolidated, and would hire a team of support builders. He would take them into being a private support, um, uh, would build uh, a support um, gear for him and him alone, for him to take the entrances in. They were quite skeptical, skeptical because they knew, everyone knew, was widely known that Izuku Midoriya was quirkless. But they built it because, they built it, the things that he needed for him because he he paid them well, and they kept it a secret. Over time, Izuku, Izuku continued to train, obviously secretly, and by the time the interesting sense had come, had come across, well, let's say Izuku was well prepared. He he actually surprisingly did pass the um, entrance exams, um, written portion quite oh, yeah. easily. It oh, was still yeah. as smart as all oh, yeah. that. Shot. That's not to Those say that Deku, Deku did do stupid things, but he was not a stupid person. Thou hast most of his other early yet. life was more specifically huh? similar to Canon Deku. Is that he was Yo, a lot more pri this? privileged? And well, yeah, it was a lot more privileged than Canon Deku was. He'd eventually make his way from the. Um, I'm anyways, 
I'm so, moving. I'm oh. shaking. I'm moving. I'm oh, running out of words. Back to well, obviously, I just went over a Deku dead. Time to bust face. this groove so to I the outcome, Max, baby. So I'm going to, even though this is after I said. Proceed, diminutive mortal. It is your birthday. We shall babe, revel but although it Not only your did Deku not trip, he did get to meet your Uraga and was briefly reunited with his old um, childhood bully, Bakugo, who cared not for how much money ah. Midoriya had, but still bullied him for being quirkless and called him Deku. I, I've noticed some criminal activity not far um, from where you are. That that's what you know what to do. Well, that must be some sort of nickname. Because, like, who in the world doesn't know about Izuku Midoriya, the returned son of um, Midoriya Consolidated? So, uh, like I said, Midoriya would go on and take the written portion, which has quite easy, which has just like his canon version. And we will move on to the practical. As everyone gets there, everyone would wonder why Midoriya knew. But everyone knew that Izuku Midoriya was quirkless. So they wondered what exactly would he use. Only for them to see that Midoriya was putting, pulling out a, a case. And in that case was a bow. A black bow. Or it was like a black. A very black and like dark green accent. Like bow with green, uh, with arrow. Uh, and a quiver full of arrows. Though so these were highly experimental arrows. As President Mark would begin Izuku um ready would close the suitcase. As he begins to begin to open, Izuku actually runs in first, surprising everyone as President Mike says, Well, I didn't get to say start, but you should follow that kid examples. Battles don't begin on countdowns or when when it's when it um when someone says start, they just happen. Go immediately into battle. There is no countdown, none of that. So, oh, the door the would head in, making sure then, to get to a high vantage point. People I've seen he would manage to hit a bunch of, uh, making sure to save his uh, specialized arrows, using just normal arrows in his bow to destroy as many robots, claiming at huh? around, I say, 40 to 45 hero <clears throat> points. But when he real um over time when he realizes oh boy, that there were we barely any left, real he real do realize I believe the minimum was sixty five points to pass into the real course. He would begin hopping from rooftop to rooftop, this catching the attention of many of the heroes watching over the uh, badges, having drones what in the air follow the door. They wonder where he gained such bubble. skills from. They would then watch me Dory would jump off the roof. Before shooting an arrow with a what seems to be a rope attached, and before turning and shooting at the rope he jumped off of. As he did so, they watched him use his bow as a Citizens sort of handlebar as he to glided down the gang surveillance drone. the ground, Hell. where he would find a young um a young man He's about to be attacked to by a rope. Uh, 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 just be some nameless yes, nobody. Yes, it is. I'm not there. even inviting mm. friends over. Mm. As Midoriya would shoulder tackle it off out of the way, the boy would not be hit with the rubber bullets that these robots shoot. Midoriya would then shoot it <clears throat> with an electrical arrow, short circuiting the robot. He would help the boy up, asking him to be okay. As the boy nodded, Midoriya said good, as he told him to be keeping so careful. He had a shoulder injury, and if wasn't treated, be, People talking worse. lots about the big shootout the other day. Sure didn't hurt his shoulder I didn't even know we had Before a basketball court. rip off a piece of his um, shirt and would wrap, wrap it around the boy's shoulder, keeping it in sort of like a tight place. The boy would thank Midoriya. Before running off, this is Yuku continues to take down um, a few more robots, amassing at least around, I say, 57 hero points at the, in total. This is then when Midori would feel the ground shaking. He would go to head off. Well, he would go to head out when he notices a zero pointer. But when he realizes that there was some the way, he realized he needed to get to a higher vantage point in order to take out the zero pointer. He would do so, getting to a higher vantage point. And once there, he would um, load up an arrow, which is an, an EMP arrow. As he draws his back. He would let it go. 
As the arrows fought, it landed on the zero pointer. Swords are getting it, but someone can come close to the girl. Once down there, Izuku would remove. Um, once Izuku would make it down the building, he would go to the girl, removing the rubble off of her. As he was physically, by quite literally, very physically strong. As we can see, that eraser hand is physically strong enough, strong enough to literally grab a man with a scarf and throw him in the air to smack him with another man. So with the same scarf. I mean, like he's pretty physically strong. Afterwards, President Michael came on the intercom, saying how the test was not over. Many people would come to Midoriya, saying what he did. Um, take, uh, well, not many people. Uraraka, uh, the person he saved, would thank him. Saying that she was happy that someone managed to save her. As he's reunited, he decided to walk away. But not before passing the recovery girl, who made sure that, who looked him up quickly, making sure he had no injury. He eventually head home, where his mother would be there, asking how it went, and Izuku said he amassed a total of around 57 yeah. zero points. But he did not see whether his uh, written exam would be high enough for him to be dead to let him to pass into the hero course. Making his mother now, she asked what was in the suitcase, and she says, the thing huh? that's going to help him become a hero. Eventually, two weeks would pass, and his mother would come, wouldn't call him. Um, one of the uh, butlers would call him down. They are selling him that package, that a um, letter from you and Prime. It was quite heavy. Do you Even have a problem with constant Cree invasions? Then why not sign up for a crash course in the ancient martial art of Kang Fu, held at your local Kang Munity Center? Disc like device. He would brush his hand over it, causing the hologram portion of it to be turned on. Once it would turn on, it would be revealed to be All Might there, who would congratulate him for doing so well on the written and the practical, saying that though he did not possess enough points to get into the way. But he said, but what type of hero school would you be if we... For the sake of Asgard, I must not he waver. the most important thing of a hero put their life on the line to save someone else's. You didn't run away like everyone else did from the zero pointer, though when you saw you someone hurt, you got to a higher vantage point because you that's the best way you could save that person. And then you managed to take down the zero pointer. We were quite impressed by your skills with the bow and with the bow and arrow. Hey. And you seem to have some great um math. you seem to show an increased medical knowledge Managing to help the young, the young man from uh, from injuring his shoulder worse with your sort of that was makeshift bandages. Before <laughs> applying, giving Doria a total of eighty-five euro, that would come out. To the total. It would give him a total of one hundred and forty-two euro. <laughs> now I believe All Might was around one. So this is only bypass on my robot. you when he realizes that when all my replies that he was now Same the as all the others. Sorry. The and points is, as he'd smile, um, all my would tell him what class he'd be in and what day to come before saying welcome, damn it. So <clears throat> after learning of this and everything, we time skip a couple of. Citizens with suggestions on how to improve Chronopolis can submit them to the big chasm surrounding my citadel. While it may look as though your idea is being thrown into the abyss, I actually have many people would look at a lot of people wondering just how, uh, recognizing him obviously as one as he is the son and the actual head of one of the richest companies in Japan. Building was a real he giant at, they, How am I supposed to make the here, greatest production the world has well, ever like seen I under said, these conditions? That he's, he's How he's am I supposed down. to make the... One person oh, man. asked exactly now what I've done he's it. doing here, right. being Let's go get that huh. Nexus he's fragment. He said that he had gotten in through the He had passed the entrance exam just like everyone else had. He was here, obviously. 
I was about to go uh, with Snarl like this before being his attention being caught by Ida who will reprimand him for, have an um, dragon inside. for essentially Somebody owes me a blue Gloria sky. and for having his feet on the desk. <laughs> As time goes on, Aizawa will eventually step in, quieting everyone down. Only them that they were being too loud and it took them way too long to get quiet. Except before telling them to put on their um, the gym uniforms and to meet them outside. Once all of the students were I must dressed protect my time, people in this strange new world. Doing, doing a quirk apprehension test. Telling me huh. that there were some things that he didn't have to do. But man, there was there were some things he didn't have to do, and obviously. Midoriya would not. As I saw would begin the test, he would give a ball to Midoriya saying that this is one of those things you don't have to do. Blasted machine is broken again. Score. That's the third Before time this would tell you, Midoriya How am I going to bring in the lobster cages ball now? Ball I'm a fisherman, not a mechanic. This contraption is supposed to make life easier. Would say, I'd be better with a simple well, fishing rod. I suppose you even would the say black panther has limits. Says I would have him throw. Hidori would throw around 350. Which was not as impressive as most other people in the class, but was pretty impressive for someone who was essentially quirky. Who was, well, literally. You quirky. managed to fix it, or you can get back to work. As I saw, would say that you look like they you have this under control. Like apprehension test. Seeing how that quirk works, then you must be a test, and then Midoriya would just be doing some of them normally. Same, but they could also just use Midoriya's old scores from school, or he could redo them if he chooses to choose so. Then we go through many things. This is run, 50 meter dash, 100 meter dash. Um, I believe it was the, like, I can't remember. I know it's the, if they could jump over the sandbox or how far and, um, they could jump into that. There was the ball throw. There was the seated toe touch, sit push up, sit up, grip strength. And flexibility test. Midoriya did pretty much like superhuman in them, but you know, on the lower end of that superhuman. So he did quite well and didn't actually place in the at the bottom. Though he did place number fourteen. Over time, at the end of the exam, Aizawa well would congratulate everyone, especially saying that Midoriya impressed him the most, saying that even if Midoriya didn't have a break, he showed that he was a lot better at these tests than most other people so he had potential he would then say that no one would um after you know ha having already hadn't threatened them with the expulsion, uh, with expulsion or um being expelled from school you tell um so the leader obviously and everyone was uh see Mineta. Mineta has the no as i always say not to worry as no one would be in on my day and everyone would head um would head back into the school where they would continue the school day. And the next day they would come back to school and would go through the motions once more. Before it was time for hero class. But uh for the hero um Turns out the cave I believe it was the uh heroes class. So um anyways, once everyone will um once it was time for said class, everyone would be giddy, wondering who exactly would be teaching it. They knew it was supposed to be some famous pro, but they didn't know who exactly. This is the end when they would hear, I am here, coming through the door like a normal person, the door sliding open to reveal cave, all but I got totally distracted. There, were many, there would be many um, shouts of excitement. All my citizens of Chronopolis are reminded of the All my quite that, before telling them, well, that they would be doing um, battle training today. Gracious. Before saying, but before that, most people say something so like, So, you've well, returned for bro, some more hot joust action. Tapping a, uh, a is remote ready when and you are. the walls to open with a briefcase, suitcases, you can joust against each other. Euro class. If not, let me know, and As I'll get my, Winston to tell move. everyone to get I'm going to need help getting this new everyone forge to work. Are you the new assistant? Case, huh, then and would head off For this armor, I need gold, shiny gems, and some wool. And would head, um, head out. Now, well, I hope you understand the, these new fangled forges. I've no idea now, what this the electro catty thing it needs. Nice cutting. We'll make a smith of you, yes. And they didn't produce a good enough PNG of what Midoriya would look like if he had the full, uh, full, like, 
we had like a full costume variation of Green Arrow. So I was, I'm going to basically describe it. Like his top looks exactly like that. Hood, exactly, exactly how you see it. His top, the, the top portion of him looks like that. Anyways, um, if you were wondering what costume, think, um, you know the short sleeve one that Oliver Queen wore. But it would be in the pattern that you see that Deku has on. Anything, but so, with these days are just the legs obviously being the same pattern, but Hood rather than Deku yeah, Red, it would throw off the whole axe. Aesthetic of his costume and what he was going to become. We'd have a green domino mask Strange. with white lenses, which Saucer gives him a Supreme sort of like at display, your service. Which, displays many, which shows many things. And would place a calm in his ear, um, and uh, calm link in his, to his ear. He plays on gauntlets, which does have an uh, a sort of in like a computer inside, which would be the first of its kind. Uh, so Idori would be the only person to use it. As he grabbed his bow with his quiver, he would place his quiver on his. Um, he strapped the quiver around his shoulders. Something and, well, must have gone down. No, like how the I believe it's like a designated place for it to slide in on his back. Anyways, Midoriya, as um, as everyone gets dressed and looks at everyone's costume once they arrive, All Might would explain that they would be doing battle trials, obviously. And that these would be hero versus villain battle trials. Everyone would be psyched for it. Though some would ask if they would be expelled, like with Aizawa, only for All Might, um, All Might to say, I said, Ow. Only for All Might to say, no, there was no need to worry about things such as that. When many people began to partner up, All Might would reveal that it would be randomly drawn. Now, I'm going to have everyone's teams be relatively the exact, well, literally the exact same as canon, and who they face the exact same as canon, because there's no significant change in uh, that I would want to implement here. So, as everyone with their team is drawn, it will be shown, shown uh, everyone against their teammates, the two teams that will be drawn will be Bakugo and, um, uh, Bakugo and Ida and Midoriya and Ochako. Bakugo and Ida being villains just like Ken and Andy Zuku and Ochako being heroes. All Might would give the villains five minutes to prepare and Izuku would, um, and, um, and that of Ochako would prepare also. As Ochako asked Midoriya what exactly was he doing with his comp, Midoriya said that there's an on an inboard computer and there's a computer inside. So on the holographic craft holographic screen. Thanks. But we're saying that, that poor fellow was he's in dire need using of his sharing. satellite to look into the building for prominent heat signatures. Normally we don't throw wool in the forge, but apparently this takes care of everything. Sort of Impressive, but eh? not if it works. Was nice work. You could tell, you now could maybe we need to turn up the heat and combine those energy. elements. Nah. I think that means putting some of that electro caffeine that do that there. Izuku will tell Uraraka that they're going this to go in. Oh, that she's that looks going about to, right to me, going to go I in. think. You've done going this before, haven't you? He's trying to keep up with her as she moves on. Saying that Bakugo will walk run past her if he hears this. So, Midoriya, um, Uraraka will wonder why, he says, because Bakugo has a temper, temper and a problem with it. And he's saying that it's, it's the best Perfect. way for him to sneak around. I'm a fit and for get a to the king. bomb if... Uh, you'll be uh, wanting uh, Kane for all your work, eh? Uh, hey? Well, And without causing too much, as much damage as possible. Uraraka would nod. As Midoriya... Um, as the match will begin, as the trial will begin, Midoriya will fire off into the roof, entering through the roof access point. He was sneaking in, hearing Baku go, go by, and Uraraka telling him to keep up as they went up. Guys causing trouble nearby. Uh, they make me Uraraka so would pass Baku go as uh, she was telling him to come on. Four hours and then Baku go went down trying to fire away. Uh, Yuku had already snuck into where he was trying. Um, he would go into the and actually the entire game as he could end before drawing out his arrow. As he would shoot, as he would um, aim, as he would draw the arrow, he would tell him, 
Before you fired at Ida. Or not at Ida, but by Ida. Well, like at Ida's foot, right in front of her. Ida will wonder where it came from, not noticing that Izuki had placed the um, placed the vent back where it was. Izuki would have his gas mask on, signaling to a rocket to stay back from the top of the roof. All might and others would wonder what exactly had Midoriya planned to do, only for Ida to collapse to the ground. Everyone would wonder what it was, what was that gas? All my God, he said, it was a genius. It was a genius. It was a genius move on Midoriya's part. As Midoriya would tell Uraraka that he's on the fifth floor, maybe oh, no. that's around the third room. Once entering the room with Uraraka, Izuku would tell Uraraka to break it and to hurry up. As the two of them would come in there, Izuku would touch the bomb with Uraraka. Uraraka and Deku being proclaimed the winners would cause Bakugo to head up towards the bomb. Seeing Deku there will anger Bakugo enough for him to attack Midoriya. Only for Midoriya to, um, to dodge out of the way of the blast. As Bakugo continues to attack, Midoriya has no choice. He strikes Bakugo in the knee with his bow, causing Bakugo to collapse to one knee before Midoriya would spin and then kick him in the f across the face, causing Bakugo to fall to the ground unconscious. Tell my mom I love her! Midoriya would sigh before picking up his arrow. He doesn't need anyone studying his arrow besides those who, besides that of his company who produces the, the day, you get nothing for nothing. As they would head towards that of the, um, this, um, as a control center, they would be met by All Might, who would ask the class who exactly was the MVP. Most everyone would say Midoriya, saying that he had a genius plan and played knowing and played, um, played the field knowing how Bakugo was. Knowing that Bakugo would go after him and had Uraraka lead Bakugo on instead of, you no know, facing Bakugo head on. And also use his genius, not only for that, but to also, um, but also use knockout gas to knock Ida out without causing too much of a huss or, um, too much of a fight. And uh, made sure that his teammate was there with him out of harm's way before claiming the bomb. So that he even neutralized Bakugo after Bakugo came back after the test was over. Hello? And Couldn't thou help um, to me? To my him. love awaits me atop yon tower. I would to climb to my love, but I fear scaling the tower due to earlier mishaps. From here if we only move some kind the sorcerer could grant me courage. Days. days after the battle trials, they would go back to normal classes. And with Aizawa. This unusual Aizawa would tell object him that they did quite a good me. job in the battle trials. That he's just recently revealed the footage as it all became accessible. Right. What's left to do today? Saying that Midoriya was quite good before telling Midoriya to meet him um t today after class. After all of the classes was over today. Before saying that they were going to be doing something that would put well maybe they put in jeopardy. Speak the of the dangers of, of scaling um, towers in the stories. I wish really? are those high school platforms high really the only way up? When we wonder if boys are, which they go and class representative. It will cause everyone to go on a riot, saying for them to be paid off for them to do it demographically. Did Percy ever get his choosing the castle sorted? voting system? I suppose it makes this, no odds to us down here. I don't think that's the same, right? I don't think... Democracy. Democracy. I think that's what it's called. I, I can't really remember all that well. But using that, using a voting system, it would be chosen to be Deku and Momo. Deku showing that he had excellent leadership skills with Uraraka caused a lot more votes to go his way than Ken and Deku, amassing around seven votes compared to I think his four votes to Momo's three, three points. Afterwards, everyone would go to class, and once they would all head into class, um, one would out, not to class, but to lunch, everyone would be there eating before suddenly the alarm would go off. Midoriya would try to get his class there, but wouldn't be stuck with Uraraka, Ida, and Momo. Izuku would ask Momo to create a crossbow and would, um, reveal a gauntlet, saying that, uh, we'll bring out a strong with a schematic for a certain arrow um what is it? i think it's like a certain arrowhead with a certain uh sort of certain attachment for an arrowhead with proper things with the um for a reason 
once he would, once one were created, he would shoot the arrowhead above the stop sign, Who causing everyone Kate to hold their ears. So when Izuku would future. stop it, stop the play of it, Izuku would tell them to calm down. That it was simply depressed. Him and Ida managing to calm everyone down without Ida having to go to the top of the exercise like he did in Canada. Once everything was, calm, everyone was calmed down and headed back. Whoever out, they got on snowplow duty yeah, yeah. seriously needs to up the whole situation was over. It's like driving being, inside a bounce house around here. The reporters had broken down the wall and managed to enter. There was some uh, grounds. questionable training everyone were had back place on the mountain early. And was back in class as hell revealed a field trip the next day. Saying that they will be going to Baltimore USJ for um, <laughs> battle sim um, uh, rescue simulation. As everyone would be happy, he would say you can either wear your gym uniforms or your hero costume. A hundred studs. He's uh after everyone would not the next day will come. Has thou constructed okay. ladders before, hero? Anyways, it shows. as Midoriya, uh, as everyone prepares for the USJ, they head on the bus and that seat together, green. where many no people ask questions about works and their some, and their uh, the observations of their. He needs to watch classes. himself before he makes too As they many make it there, they meet the routine, who gives a speech about how dangerous quirks can be if they're not used properly or not controlled properly. As they head in, more they notice that it's seemingly life. the lights was um the power suddenly went. I, I, it seems as if they couldn't communicate with anyone. Izuku noticing this first because his suit actually has a built-in calm. He would try to reach Saw out with his calm, but there was no out out sort of. Maybe I've been up here too long. There was. Anyways, after noticing everything happening, Izuku <clears throat> would immediately take aim, not aiming anywhere, but like he would draw his bow. You'd just be waiting for something to happen when they will all notice the purple portal yeah. opening uh, yeah. with the purple mist. I used to be a citadel guard until I took an arrow. The Zuku would immediately shoot behind into the f right where the fountain was. I was always wondering why Midoriya shot his um, bow there. As they were watching, his multiple villains would come out, proclaiming that they were here to kill all men. Aizawa would tell the students to leave before heading down, only for a purple mist villain to appear ah, and to what's transport this? the students to the ground. Mayhaps an ancient relic of so great time, importance. So wasn't teleported into the water, or above the water, he was teleported directly onto the boat, which was a mistake on their part. Izuku, being on the boat already, would be able to attack the, uh, would uh, see Mineta and then Suyu are there, and once Suyu and Mineta are off, Midoriya would shoot <clears throat> an electrified arrow into the water, electrocuting all the villains there. The others would cause the boat to, you know, to also, would cause the boat to also be electrified, causing Midoriya to have to get to you and Mineta off of there before they could do, before it happens. Uh, hello? As they slide down the zip line using one of the arrows, Probably they not. went, they make it to the shoreline. <clears throat> Midoriya seeing that the that the hand villain was still there with Suyu uh, with um with the miss villain having appeared with the part, the weird bird looking muscle muscly bird looking villain there Midoriya would click a button on his bow Shigaraki and Kiryu were here beeping but we didn't know where it's coming from only for them to turn around a bit too late they would both be blasted away. Kirigiri only managing to opening to open a portal for Shigaraki before he he would collide with um with the floor. Kirigiri would eventually open another portal, causing Shigaraki to tumble out of it. Shigaraki would ask who had done that. Take down the crime that's only happening right now, and you could win a fabulous prize. The prize is chest, satisfaction and a job right well done. Where his heart would be, Same as all the others. Piercing. Sorry. It was, Izuku made sure to undershoot it, or rather, he shot it. Uh, that was He's a such a good shot that he can make sure not to kill someone if he wanted to. Shigaraki hey. seeing this would decay the boat, well, would decay the arrow. As he would rush at Midoriya, Midoriya would dodge out of the way. Before Midoriya would then hit Shigaraki <laughs> in the torso. 
And then me and him in the face. Shigaraki, what's up? I don't mean to brag or anything, but Mr. Stone said hello to to me that time when I passed him on the busy street. Um, so to stay afloat. Yeah. Thank God all of his, all his, um, his arrows were, um, the quiver itself was sealed tight with air tight so water could not get into it. The no move would try would go after Midoriya, jumping Looks into like the, the water. Looks like the cybernet help. Midoriya, the smirk telling Sue now. Sue would wrap her tongue around Midoriya. Bad guys never seem to understand the concept of power. Sue would wrap her tongue as he was in. He was still around. You can do it, Avengers. And, uh, I believe in you. Uh, arrow Even if you're at close the call. Brain. Thanks. Watching as the no move screamed out in pain. Great before, job. I knew you could do it. Its head seemingly brave began to see when you walk on those transparent the protector, walks? fortunately. What? Shigaraki would be wondering what was happening. He would go to attack Midoriya. Midoriya, seeing this, would reach into, um, would quickly reach into his quiver before aiming at the ground, shooting off a smoke arrow. This is causing, to, this disorienting Shigaraki would allow him to use the heat sensor in his mask to kick um to fight Shigaraki. Shigaraki never being able to touch him. In the end Shigaraki had to back off. And with Kirigiri seeing the Nomu out of commission and Shigaraki taking significant damage, even though this kid wasn't extremely strong, decided that it was time for to retreat. Mm. So Bubble and exactly squeak. Shigaraki no, and I guess. While Maybe. Who? Coconut cream pie. While I was still gravely injured, no. he wasn't as injured as he was in canon. <laughs> in doing so, Izawa was ma- managed to heat up and help the other students take on their other villains until All Might arrived. Business is booming for Fing anyway, Fang Foom's fantastically fresh and filling the, uh, fat free Froget Factory. So much so, so that I've been able to form a new corporation with the profits. And, uh, the FFFFFFFFFFF Foundation. Or FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
I just honestly keep that the same, relative, relatively the exact same, rather than having Zuku do it. Because I don't think most people would want a curriculum student saying anything. Or just as you realize it is that most people wouldn't overlook what Midori would have to say, no matter how impactful or truthful it could be. Must have had a budget so Bakugo would go to. ahead and give his same speech as he did in canon. And would commence the beginning of the sports festival. And he commenced with, well, the, um... The obstacle course. As everyone begins to ready, Midoriya, just like his cat himself, does struggle a bit. Though he eventually does catch up with that of Todoroki and Bakugo using explosions. He didn't even have to use his bow and arrow. Rather, he used his brain to um, to grab a piece of a robot that had been broken and used it to um, and dug up a bunch of mines to then jump on and, exp and propel him further before. For, um, enough ahead for him to catch up to Toroki and Bakugo, who he would then use as little um, footholders before smacking the ground again with another explosion, sending the two of them back a bit and him forward, cascading forward where he would continue and running until he got first place. He didn't, there really wasn't sir, much. Sir. I, you could say he's a bit fast, he's a lot faster than he's got himself, so he, he'll be have a lot more of an edge. Compared to how close it was to Kanan Midori and Bakugo and Todoroki. So, with this, everyone would wait for the waiting period before it would be revealed. Well, for, well, once everyone came and then the waiting period before the next battle would be revealed. That being the Calvary battle. So, now, I'm going to have Deku have the real. same routine <laughs> because he does still, no one still <laughs> wants to be on his team except for those who he's made friends with. Or Tokuyami. I am so Iron Man. Izuku, but, uh, Hatsune, you already knew that, right? Buraraka and Tokuyami. Then the four of them would make a great team with Midoriya there. As Midnight starts the cavalry battle, many people go to attack Midoriya. Only for Midoriya to use good Looks like some arrow, trouble is brewing arrow, where you are. You're like a magnet for this stuff, huh? When he, uh, which could, why uh, do bad guys yeah. never seem to understand the concept of personal space? Uh, I think this one is a It's like a bomb that releases a lot of force. But I, it, it can, it will kill him, but Midori has made it to where it's tampered down a lot. He doesn't throw a lot of the same off. So Midori has a weapon that most people have and no one seems to have Midori's skills. That was definitely a not a career highlight. He had to wait and got as much points as people and got to Midori. Yeah. Everyone in the last seconds will be going after Midori. I think he had like 10 million points, 10 million points, or uh, it was just a million. We'll be going after when Midori is smart. He will remove a ball head from one of his head before throwing it in the ground, finding everyone, including his own teammates, before the last few seconds while everyone is trying to get their vision back to normal. They the Calvary battle had ended. Midori was smirk. As he would apologize to his teammates, they would keep their band and um, their placement and would go on to the final round. Where um, the final um, portion of the sports festival, where we would then have moved on to that of the one on one tournament. Everyone would learn who um, who would fight who, and even the same people would give up, causing the two new replacements to come in. Izuku would have to fight Shutsu, and um, even yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good day, soldier. Want to give our anti-aircraft turret training program a spin? Um, if you impress me enough, Bakugo, Ida versus. I like a good Hatsune. fight, but only when I'm on the winning side. I think it was Momo versus Tokuyami. Um, and no, it was Nino versus uh, uh, I Awa, and many more. Hiromu and all. But yes, everyone's matches would be relatively the same. Midoriya would have to be called first out to face Shinzo. Midoriya and his. Um, and his and he wears gym uniforms with his so quiver on his back and his bow. So <laughs> this so would be like, it must be nice being a court for a student getting into so class from A. Telling Midori that he's actually inspired him to work hard to get there. He's going to show him the fruits of his training that he's had. 
As we do it, it's just go do a fight. It's so, um, sin so goes in for a punch. Only for Midoriya to knock the punch away with his bow. As Shinso tries to go for a body shot, Midoriya will move out of the way. Midoriya will tell Shinso that he's quite good, but he's not good enough. Midoriya, um, I'm going to have Midoriya's bow work similar to Hawkeye, like how Hawkeye can put so many bows into that and on staff. I'm going to have it work like that. And I thought that was pretty cool, and since the arrow does seem to fight with his bow a lot, like, like you can see the arrow, uh, arrow, like when he has to go close to combat, he uses his bow. But I was rather like, why not just have him like use the bow? He could use the bow still, but he could also transform it into a staff, which we do know that arrow, the arrow can use. Kang so is watching you. So I was like, yeah, Always let's do this for this one. Yeah. Another so crime. he would transform the bow into a staff. And since I would try to block. We, oh uh, we'll boy, we got ourselves a real Y'all gotta oh, answer yourselves one question. Oh, do I feel oh, like oh, 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 Much use, obliged, uh, partner. To spend using the momentum to knock Senso off. Take that, Senso to on the ground. Senso would get up quickly. Only for Midoriya to be there using the, the um, the staff, um, the staff boat <laughs> as now. To, um, as oh yeah! 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 Oh Different. I can't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, it looked a bit different. Before Midoriya shot it, everyone watching as a rope came out of it and it wrapped around Shinso, uh, two arrows and a rope tethered between them. Hit around Shinso and um, okay. brought him Let's to the show ground. What we got. Well, uh, well, and then forced from it, dragged Shinso back a bit and out of the arena as they embedded him in the ground. Shinso would be surprised knowing that he can't move all that well. He didn't even think to use his quirk because, well, he wasn't going to go. He wasn't going to use his quirk against Midoriya because of the fact that Midoriya was in fact quirkless and he wants to fight essentially on equal terms. terms. Um, as we move on to everyone else's matches, past everyone else's matches, because I'm not going to change them. We go on to Izuku versus Todoroki. Now Izuku was pulled aside by Todoroki, saying that Toro Izuku seems to have the support from a lot of teachers. All Might included for some reason, even though Midoriya and All Might seem to share no similarities whatsoever, saying that he will defeat him. Midoriya will not. As Todoroki even explains to Midoriya about his family and how he was the product of a quirk marriage and quirk and hopes of quirk breeding. This would even cause, um, as Midoriya even leaves, he would even be met by Endeavor, who would brag about how. So his Shoto was going to win against him. Midoriya would tether him to the um to the wall, though Endeavor would um would burn through the rope. Eventually, Midoriya oh, yeah. and Todoroki would oh, be yeah. called to be, um, oh, yeah. Now, Shock. Our, Those are some sweet moves. Unlike Canon Deku, our Deku, this Deku is a lot Thou smarter. Thou seen than nothing yet. Paranoid. He's not going to just give his opponent the chance to Yo, get ready for this? battling him. No. Midoriya is going to fight Todoroki through all of this, using explosive arrows, uh, using many explosive arrows to create I'm styling, holes I'm in grooving, the ice that he I'm shaking, where he I'm is moving, I'm out entirely I'm and out of words. As Todoroki continues to battle Midoriya, Midoriya dodges a Time to bust ice, this groove um, to the Alka Max, baby! Like the ice glaciers that Todoroki sends after him. Proceed, shot diminutive mortal. It is your Todoroki birthday. We die, shall um, revel as though it were your birthday. Ice wall. Every time. You'll be doing seeing Todoroki surrounded by mostly ice walls, besides from one side. Be doing smirks, telling Todoroki that he's falling. Saying it. Um, it's, ah! You're saying it in a low voice. Howdy. I've noticed some criminal activity not far from where you are. <laughs> you know what to do. You didn't take aim. Watching as his, um, I don't think arrows can bend. 
So he would um, <laughs> shoot one arrow. This yeah. is a magnetic, uh, an arrow, an electron magnet. Um, it was an arrow. You will see his purpose. He would grab another one as he was about to hit the ground, firing it all, fire, watching as it literally flew past Todoroki, surprising Todoroki, only for the arrow to, to, to literally be sucked back towards him. Like, is the arrow for, purpose of the original arrow is it's a magnet, and hmm. the other side of the magnet that it's attracting is on the other arrow. And, well, when those two collide, <laughs> it's meant to do something. It's, well, it was meant to, like, you know, hit Todoroki. But it would damage his ice enough for Midoriya to get up from the force of both arrows colliding. And would manage to get outside Todoroki before hitting him with a boxing glove arrow. Hitting Todoroki right across ah. the chin. Todoroki would fall to the ground as Midoriya would stand there. Placing his hand on Todoroki, on Todoroki, drawing his bow, telling Todoroki to give up. Midnight seeing this, we say that Todoroki does give, as she doesn't see any way for Todoroki to be faster than than the bow, than the arrow that goes up. Izuku would have Todoroki up, saying that they would speak. Oh, the circus was in town. Guess that explains all the job. kooky people I've seen wandering around. Needs to break on, not relying on his quirk all too much, and should learn how to fight without it. He never knows what type of situation he'll get in if if he'll be able to use his quirk like if you say fight a villain who could erase quirk like this. <laughs> in the end, Izuki will move on to the next round where he will have to face Ida. And with Ida being a speed freak, oh, I don't boy. see the door to no or curly or no here. way of essentially bypassing it. So Ida would go on to fight Bakugo. Ida would put up a good enough fight against Bakugo, but I don't think he'd put up that great of a fight. What is that bug fella ever managed to tame his funny looking bug? didn't get to fight the useless nerd they had to protect me. Though, although Ida, or rather, no, Bakugo would never fight Ida because just like in canon, Stain would attack and would kill Ida. Well, not kill Ida's brother, but would paralyze Ida's brother. Um, would permanently Citizens are warned not to attention. approach the Kang surveillance drone. And so probably either to leave the arena and be disqualified. Making this Bakugo town ain't big enough for the two of us. Match, <clears throat> set, ma oh, yes, it is. Festival. I'm not even inviting <clears throat> friends over. In the end, I know we'll be fighting over Deku and Tokiyami. But yeah, Deku and Tokiyami wish he had the third place spot. Obviously. Is they're getting their, uh, rules from All Might in the end. All Might was ended. I can't remember what it actually yeah. said, but everyone else would say know what yeah. You've got we'll bad guys first causing first first. trouble nearby. Ugh, they make me so mad. As we tie sure two days later out. after the sports People talking ended, lots about the big shootout the other day. Everyone returns I didn't even know we had a basketball court. By, well, like, and Izuku. <laughs> Izuku asking Ida what it if he was alright after having heard about what happened to Ida's brother. What Ida is would that nod, book? but Izuku can recognize the look on his face, buffalo. having seen it in many of the people he was he had targeted um, when they were going after a target. Fighting after taking on many people who were going after a target for revenge. Izuku would narrow his eyes, telling Ida that revenge was never really always the best option. Heard they had a chicken outbreak in the saloon the other day. Ida would tell me the that it's not about that. Yeah. And to just stay out of it. Just stay out of it. Uh. Izuku would shake his head as he, uh, as they had to class, so they where they would learn of the injustice and how, who were all chosen. <laughs> Midori would get the same amount. Anyway, so we move on from the sports vessel into uh, the internships and the fight against Stain. So, um, after everyone returns from, obviously, after the sports vessel, well, I've gone over this. They would go over who their interns would be, who they would be interning with. Midoriya would still have the same amount as Canon, and though this time he wouldn't actually have Gran Torino be one. I'm gonna actually have it be Gran Torino be replaced by another pro hero who he will be interning with in this one if. That being said, Midoriya, after everyone finds their intern, uh, who they will be interning with, 
or um, see the list at least, I would tell the class that now they would be doing something that could affect their careers moving on as pro heroes. Or as hero students in general. Before saying that you'll be picking out code names or hero names. He would say that he he's not all that good at this, so there would be someone else doing it for him. Everyone would be surprised when Midnight would come in. Saying that yet yeah, before telling him a story about how Eraser Games himself got his own hero names. Everyone would she would be give then give everyone their own uh, whiteboards for them to write their hero Why is this happening? And that's exactly what everyone would do. But I'm gonna have everyone's hero names be able to be exactly the same. Except for Deku. Deku would move on. When he's called up. He would go for either the Archer Hero or I'm gonna have it actually be the Quirkless Hero, Green Arrow. Midnight would approve of the name. And wrong. Everyone would be leading for their internship except for Midoriya, who do you have a problem with constant Cree invasions? Then why not sign up for a crash course in the ancient martial art of Kang Fu? It admires Midori's skills with the bow and Midori's accuracy. He decides to want to take Midori under his wing for now. That Midori trained with Sniper not only in increasing his accuracy, but also increasing his accuracy with with guns. And even well, they even exchange shots. Sniper also. When this, we, we're For going to assume Asgard, that Snipe can I use other not weapons waver. that require immense amount of pain, such as the bow and arrow. So I can even say Snipe would teach me Dorian new tricks. But with a couple of days' time You're under training with Snipe, Snipe would tell me Dorian that they'd be heading to Hosu, saying that the hero killer is there and that he's been assigned to it, and that he's decided to bring the Dorian along with him. So as the two pack up, they all head to Hosu. But they eventually meet up with Eraser, I'm not Eraserhead, but Endeavor, who's come to host him. And the old timer hero named, um, that is named Gran Torino. This is then when the Nomu attack began. And Midoriya gets an alert. Well, Midoriya, I think Midoriya was not, didn't get an alert, but it was rather out and, um, running around the city with his spotted stain in an alleyway about to attack Ida. Before Stan could do anything, his Take knife was shot out of his right hand by an arrow. Surprising guy. Stan. As Midoriya stands there, the Midoriya tells Sorry. him to back away. As Stan quickly draws another knife and throws it at Midoriya, Midoriya swipes it away with his bow. Before jumping down and rushing at Stan, the two of them clashing. Bow versus sword. And Stan is quite surprised when he can't seem to Citizens no matter how much suggestions on how to improve oh, Monopolis, that's how strong it is. Them to the it's big material that was made from. My citadel. It was meant it to be extremely as though your um, strong while also being able to break as a boat. As Midoriya staying backed up, Midoriya will shoot Stain in the shoulder with an arrow. <laughs> would be surprised saying what kind of hero does this as Midoriya says one that's willing to do whatever it takes to rescue this building was a real rescue mark. the innocent how am I supposed to make the greatest Stain production the, the world kid, saying that, I like that under these conditions I like that type of thinking kid continuing to impress me how and I may I let you to live the... as the two of them go in battle oh, again man. Midoriya manages to steal oh, Stain's sword away from him before he gets back leaving Stain with only a single dagger the two of them continue their battle. Zuku oh, managing to eventually um, press his emblem, or rather to use his comm set link to a satellite to um, link it up with any other comm set around him, telling them that he's currently in an alleyway fighting the hero killer, seen as send as much back as possible. Somebody owes me a blue Shoto and Endeavor, Endeavor was said to tell Shoto to go and to help with the boy until he came, and Shoto to Oroki would head there. Eventually making his way there would help Midoriya take on his day. Until Midoriya manages to finally get a good shot. It was an explosive arrow shot behind Stain meant from the force of the explosion. I must to protect out, my people exactly in this strange new world. 
We do it with the Intel Shelter to encase both stains, hand, hands and feet in ice. And even his, uh and even the bottom part of his face. Izuku would then go and help Native and Ida, who would berate Izuku for taking away his vengeance for his brother. Blasting Midori would then slap Ida, again. telling him to slap the third time this month. That vengeance, How am I going to bring well, it was okay to now. want to seek revenge the against not those who had harmed him, this taking it too far to where he was putting life his easier. life in immortal danger along be with someone with a simple else's. Fishing rod. I Should have been where he even the Black lie. Panther has limits. Ida would be surprised at Midoriya to say such a thing before Midoriya would sigh before picking Ida up and throwing him over his shoulder. Todoroki would create an ice path for them to slide Stain's body as he as Todoroki. You managed to fix Ida. it, or you can and get eventually back to, to the pro heroes who were still attacking. Look like you have this under Ida, who were still being attacked by the Nomu. But when the Nomu grabbed Izuku, Izuku, rather than panicking, would quickly pull out an arrow, an electric arrow, before placing it on the Nomu's head, watching as he pressed the button, pressed the button on his bow as it electrified the Nomu, causing it to drop to the ground. Midoriya make, managing to spin to where it'll land straight, where the Nomu would be taking the brunt of the landing in top. Midoriya would look at him, before Midoriya would walk over. Everyone would be surprised by this. Midoriya's quick thinking, and Snipe would congratulate him. Snipe would then berate Midoriya for going after Stain, but Midoriya would say simply that he was just running around the city when he came across the alleyway before Stain was attacking Ida and Native. Native would even say that Midoriya had only attacked because Stain was about to kill him, saying that essentially Stain had left him with no other choice. Then Midoriya, Todoroki, Ida would all be berated, although Snipe would not lose his teaching license because he's a teacher at UN. No, he would not be allowed to intern with Midoriya ever again. That was the cause of this um, incident. So, from here, we move on. Then, other final, the finals. And then afterwards, summer camp. Now, once everyone returned to Bay, Aizawa would berate his students. The pro heroes do know of what happened, especially Aizawa because Snipe was involved. So all the teachers at UA do know what happened. And Aizawa would berate Izu, Kuro, and Ida. I think the idea was completely irrational and idiotic. But he would tell me doing the show a good job. Before telling Ida to never place anyone in danger just because he wanted to get vengeance on someone else. They couldn't just place others in danger. For the rest of the time, as I would tell the students that now they would be preparing for the next step, their final. Everyone would be scrambling, forming study groups, and even training, even wondering what type of test it would be for the practical. They even come to the conclusion that they'd be fighting robots just like it, just like it for the entrance exam. And when it came down to the finals, Midoriya did quite well. And when it came to the practical. Anyways, so, um, who would that could be facing? Now, Deku is not as powerful as Hannah Deku, obviously, but doesn't have totally one distracted. <gasps> So Nezu obviously would never place Deku on a team with Bakugo. Um, Citizens of Chronopolis only other people who person for to face is that Snipe. But since Snipe had already gone, gracious. Nezu would have to choose All Might. So, you've returned for some more hot joust action. Nelly is ready so where you are. If you have a buddy, you can Deku. joust against each other. If not, let me know, and I'll get Winston to... Hmm. I'm going to oh need help getting would, this new uh, forge to work. Are you the new the assistant? Huh, then get to it. For this Deku armor, I need gold, shiny with. gems, and some wool. Obviously, but it's forced to... Well, I hope you understand these newfangled forges. I've no idea what this electro catty thing it needs. It. Nice yeah. cutting. We'll make a smith of you might. yet. Um, I might in, um, I might in Bakugo will face head to head. Bakugo by me. I'll be known as to Bakugo. Let's buy me Dorian time for him to go ahead and, um, get to a higher Midoriya making sure to get as far away from All Might where he's out of All Might's sight, but All Might's in his sight. Anyways. Um, um, so as Bakugo continues to face All Might, eventually Deku would get a shot off. Surprising All Might as he caught his arrow. 
look like something. But after this is the main thing you can't see the door. It's really no time. Doctor Strange. Arrow is hot. Sorcerer Supreme. Surprising when he hears Bigby only for the arrow to explode in his face. Causing All Might to drop Bakugo. Another arrow will be shot right at All Might. Well, more well, specifically, two arrows would be shot past All Might. That's what their purpose was doing. Uh, All Might would wonder what exactly is Victoria's game. As Victoria fires. Once more. In front of All Might, backing him up directly in between. That disembodied voice Only is four the two when arrows began releasing sound waves that attack All Might's ears. So hot today. And since it's in a certain radius, Midori will tell Bakugo on, to get back away from All Might. Watching his All Might's ears were beginning to bleed and disorient him. Midori would then hit All Might. I mean, no, when he would hit All Might in the um, left side of his body, unbeknownst to hitting All Might's injury. It was an arrow which was meant to do, um, which was not meant to pierce, but to knock an opponent out, or to do at least some sort of damage. It was like a blunted arrow. Not blunted, um, it's like a foam tipped arrow. Except it's not foam tipped, it's like it's really hard. Hitting All Might in his injury. Causing him to cough up yeah, blood, yeah. which surprises Bakugo. Midoriya was telling him this, saying that they he needs to cuff All Might. That the um that the sound waves will stop soon because it's almost out of charge. Midoriya would tell Bakugo to hurry up. As he gets close, Midoriya would deactivate the sound waves, watching as Bakugo cuff All Might. Now, realistically, Deku would never beat All Might like. But for the sake of the what if, and plus you never know how things happen, we will say that he does for this. Thanks. <laughs> that poor fellow was in dire need of sharing. He will be congratulated by for winning and be praised for a win. All Might will be surprised, telling Yami Doya that he surprised him. He never knew that. Normally uh, we don't throw wool in the forge, she could be but apparently this takes so care of everything. By Impressive, Sal, saying eh? that, um, if it works. Well, nice the ears work. are quite sensitive, now no matter what the person. Now we need to turn up the heat and Zero's ears being that means putting some of that electro cat into that so, doodad there. This arrow was more or less, in case he this ever had to fight Jiro, that looks about star. right to me. Or I someone with a hearing, you've done this before, hearing haven't you? that enhanced their hearing, it will target them and incapacitate them. But it will also incapacitate a normal person as long as they were within the radius that the sound waves were being emitted at. As we all move on from here to the summer camp, Perfect. everyone would be at the oh, summer camp. Fit for a king. You'll be wanting pay for the work, would, eh? um, well, well, everyone would be you go. preparing for the summer camp as they all went to the mall. And as they made it there, Midoriya would be talking with Uraraka before she walked off. But before some, he could feel someone was coming up on him. Before they could touch Midoriya, Midoriya hey. would flip them onto the ground. You've placing his hand on their, uh, his foot, not his hand, his foot on their so foot, mad. asking him who are they and what do they want. Seeing Shigaraki's face, he would ask Shigaraki what he wants. Shigaraki, everyone else looking at Midoriya wondering what happened. Shigaraki says, I just want to talk. As Midoriya would say, let's talk. Shigaraki began going on a rant about how Stain had taken the spotlight away from his Nomi. As Midoriya smirked, he had heard about Stain's speech that he had given when he had woken up in the ambulance that had been recorded and had been posted online. As he says that he guessed Stain is just more out there than he is in a better villain in a way that he will never be. Stain is your goal to go after All Might is foolish. He was to target such a big symbol rather than targeting the smaller. Um, you wish to target him rather than the next generation. Saying that All Might won't be around forever. And people felt villains and people felt to mention realize that. Hero, the newer heroes and the hero students are who are the future. And yet you target All Might, who will eventually become the past. 
Shigaraki surprised him that, but that you would tell Shigaraki not to worry. But he would also tell Shigaraki he won't be leaving Kira contest at least before punching Shigaraki directly in the face. As Midoriya called for the authorities, before they could do anything, Shigaraki would be ripped away by some black food. He would be transported back to the bar. After the whole incident, the mall would be shut down. People would be giving their statements on what happened, or more specifically, Midoriya, because he was the only person that knew know exactly what happened. Uh, all things would be wrong. Everyone would be preparing for this. Well, would be on the way to UA to leave for the summer camp. And as they get on the bus, Azawa walks to Midoriya, taking him aside, telling Midoriya that no matter what, he will not get off the bus. When he tells the rest of the students to get off, he will stay. At the end of the day, you get nothing that he knows Midoriya nothing. is well prepared and should be able to do whatever the students are, but he wishes for Midoriya to stay behind. Midoriya will not, as Aizawa would pull over on the side of the road. Everyone would get off of fresh air when, well, a group of heroes would pull up, would show up to rob my pussycats. He began speaking before eventually they would throw the students off to the um, side of the cliff and down into the forest. As Azawa got onto the bus, he asked Midoriya if he was still there, hoping for Midoriya to um, make himself known. As I will say, good, now let's go. As I will make his way down to base camp and will be there with Midoriya, who would be introduced to the Wild Wild Pussycat as the first Quirkless Hero student. The true Quirkless Hero student. Because there are heroes who have quirks that don't give them physical hands and can't really be used. Help that me? Senses, my love awaits me at the top of the to or like to my uh, love. someone but like I scaling the I tower say, due to uh, earlier mishaps. If only some kind or, of sorcerer could grant me courage. Or um... this unusual object. You know, other people. Me. But like Aizawa, Toru, and Midoriya. Aizawa and Toru being not true purpose heroes, what but like you, you know, like a half pint or a hybrid. They're heroes with quirk that fight quirkless <laughs> because their quirks don't affect their combat. Ah, uh, don't affect the red combat. So, moving on past speak this, of the dangers of as everyone in um, the stories, eventually arrives, Midoriya really, would be there with a lot really of the only way up. and as I would help you set everything up. Unsafe. Everyone would complain about Midoriya getting there first, and how he, uh, or how he just got to stay with us and didn't even have to go. Whatever they went to, the door will shut their shoulders. As they all eat that night, they learn uh, that the next day they'll be preparing for, they'll be prepping um, dinner for themselves. They then um, go to a hot spring and have a fun time. Eventually, the next day would come and everyone would begin training early in the morning. Midori would actually train with Tiger. Who which is um who Aizawa told Midoriya that he needs to learn to take hits from stronger opponents and how to keep going. Stronger and faster opponents. So Midoriya will be training with Tiger in hand to hand combat. So not usage of his bow and arrow. As time goes on, eventually the next night will come the, the later on as training ends, the night will come. And, well, to say the least, everyone would be quite surprised. Well, well, we're not quite surprised. Um, they did meet Class 1B, obviously, but they would go on to fix dinner. I don't know why I say quite surprised. Uh, I'm confusing all this. Midoriya would notice Koda was leaving and would decide, you know, he is still, like, similar to Icon, our Deku, a kind-hearted person. Though the um, years on me and you and... In many other places, they such as Russia, China, and I believe he was also in Meta Park Bot, had hardened his hardened him to where he can either show kindness when he needs to or when he doesn't, and, uh, to become merciful or merciless. When to show mercy and when not to. That's what I was trying to say. Anyway, Midoriya would sit there needs to up his game. talking like to that, that uh, would eventually here. bring food up to the cliff after he followed Koda. He would hand him some. Koda would tell him to go away, that he despises heroes like him. And Midori would speak to Koda, saying that he doesn't understand why he would despise heroes. 
when Carter wouldn't answer. He would what side. He would tell Carter that he, at one point, he despised the hero system. Surprising Carter, saying that the hero system was built for those with powerful perks. Or useful quirks at, Hast thou at constructed that. ladders before Saying that hero? being born quirkless and being bullied by those with powerful quirks with no one doing anything to stick up for him kind of started him to hold some resentment. Saying so he began to act like a rich brat, a playboy. He's been causing a bit of a ruckus around here. He needs it was to the only way he knew to get the too many enemies. And he would eventually had and had he not been stranded on an island all those years ago, he would have given up on his be more than this hero. provincial life. He smiles at Coda. He tells him that his hatred for heroes may be foul. But um, um may be sound, but unless he moves past that hatred for heroes, then he may not discover the truth about what he wants. Saw a monkey fighting Say that he obviously hates here? heroes for a reason. Maybe but I've been up here is that long. reason justified? Truly justified to him. As Midoriya smiles, he then leaves. Honestly, I don't really know how to speak. But eventually, Midoriya does make it back to base and would ask Mandalay about Koda. He then learns that Koda was the son of the water hose here. For the water hose here. I used to be a citadel guard. Surprising like Midoriya. To say that Koda's parents were killed by a villain. A villain named Musket. Even more surprising when Midoriya, um, when she would say that because of their death saving people, Koda began to hate, resent the heroes and the hero system. Midoriya sighs. Ah, what's this? As he remembers, they have like, an he, ancient he, relic he of great importance. Would be time. And the, well, they would all be there. The next, I believe, is either this day or the next day, the next night, as everyone, uh, well, no, this night as everyone is beginning to go for, um, is preparing for the end of the day and to settle down, they all decide to have a fun activity, exploring the woods around. Midoriya would be there, Joe would decide to stick out of this and decide to keep Kona company. But he had a bad feeling, so before he left, he grabbed his bow and arrow. He grabbed his quiver and his bow. As he made his way up to Koda, uh, he would sit there and wait. As the two of them just sat there in silence, not. enjoying the night sky and the forest area. Area. Eventually, the two of them would hear an explosion, looking over to see the forest engulfed in blue flames. Before anything, Midoriya's own um, train, um, Midoriya's own instincts would kick in, grabbing Koda. Midoriya would roll out of the way. As a villain came crashing down, Midori would shoot a would shoot an arrow, piercing straight through the villain's <clears throat> through the villain's side. The villain would scream, saying, "You damn bright, how how dare you shoot me with that?" Before his cloak would be revealed, causing Koda to freeze up. Anyways, so we then move on. Well. No, we're okay, still in the villain. Right so with Midoriya taking on Muscular, it causes a bit of problems. He does manage to tag Muscular with two arrows, piercing uh, directly through him before Muscular, you know, uses his quirk. But when Muscular begins to become too much of a problem, Midoriya only sees one solution. An electrified arrow which is meant to incapacitate Muscular. And that's exactly what it does. Tagging Muscular directly on his forehead, the electrified arrow literally shocks him into unconsciousness. As Midoriya grabs Koda, he then takes him. I don't mean to brag or anything, but Mr. Stone said to hello he to me him that time when I passed I him on the Spivy Street. I don't think she was the one who was stolen. I think it was someone else. She would take him to one of the yeah. Wawa Pussycats before going off to help the rest of his uh, classmates. You would even see Toga about to attack. Midoriya would even manage to arrive in time to um to shoot a capture arrow at Toga. Time Looks like the cybernet street. help. Only for Toga to know to make. Midoriya had to be Eventually, it managed to try. Uh, you can catch up to 
Who then were trying to get away the models that contain Bakugou. Close call. That of Thanks. Tanigami. So, to be honest, I'm not going to have that. I knew you could do it. In the end, they succeed in only capturing one. Walk on those um, Bakugou sidewalks. being stuck there. Only for Midoriya to shoot an arrow at Bakugou. I would be surprised when the arrow will bounce off. I mean, it's them, Midoriya having shot a tracking, a tracking, a tracking arrow on Bakugo. The arrow would leave a small tracking device on them that Midoriya could track, like Bakugo's location. So, and Momo would have placed her own loss, and they will obviously. Anyways, Midoriya would, uh, with everyone being defeated by the villains, in the end, they would all be forced to. Hey, where UA would eventually begin a raid. But Midoriya, um, Midoriya obviously mm. would not be a part Bubbles of the team that squeak. would be sent there to seek no. Haggis. Yeah, Midoriya would decide to Maybe. take upon himself to go. Not Coconut cream pie. No. So Midoriya would be there <laughs> waiting for Baku to claim Bakugo. Waiting on the same night of the raid. To, um, get Bakugo. When Business the is of booming the for Fing Fang Foom's fantastically Fing fresh Fing and filling fat-free Froget well, Factory. So much so that I've been able to form a new corporation with the profits. The Foundation. Or For short. Only for it to explode, destroy. But the culinarian inside that, um, of me is dissatisfied making or, only no, fat-free frogets every gas. Friday without fail. Being a, I need uh, to expand my repertoire, to and to do that, I need a crack he team of market that. researchers to oh, find out what the people of Chronopolis are willing to pay money to eat. Losing so much because of one. Uh, I think Alpha One does have a regenerative perk on which to conduct your market research. Down his Hear them body. and report any fascinating new food trends to me. Perk. Three should suffice. So, um, just for a while, enough for All Might to do, to do enough damage that he'd be put down. But it would also end with All Might, well, not deflating, but showing his deflated form. All Might needed to find a successor, really, and he will. With Midoriya, um, with Buck, um, Midoriya there, and, um, Midoriya's help, All Might will look in his direction, do a smile, before nodding. It's too far from being like trouble is brewing where you are. You're like magnet for this stuff, huh? Now, moving on, uh, I do know the next thing will be the, um, would be the provisional license art. Honestly, I cannot remember for the life of me much about this art. So rather, what I'll do here is because Deku's quirkless, and since I can't remember much about this art, I'll have Deku be given a specialized test. He's all he's already shown. Um, Pardon my bold statement. Of, he's but already thy shown cooking skill, cannot skill compare well to an Asgardian village state. The gods themselves weep joyfully it's in its presence. In certain fields. As an Asgardian, so them doing a specialized test, more or less seeing how how well he can calm children down in stressful events, or how well he can get other people to calm down, being one of them, and much more. I see Deku passing things, such things such as this. I know, you know, like, yo, you should really remember this. I'm going to go rewatch this, um, re this arc maybe this weekend. Uh, I'm gonna rewatch the art this weekend. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, as Midoriya, everyone else gets their provisional license. They will learn that now that they have their license, they will be a boy work study. Deku would be offered by none other than Sir Nina, who saw Midoriya's skill as something admirable. Since he couldn't go back to snipe whatsoever, as long as he was a hero student, he decided he decided to stick with Nina, who sought him out 
you saw him out by Mirio. And the only reason why he was sought out by Nida was because Deku was a potential candidate for one thing. And Night Eye wanted to see what All Might saw in Midoriya. Night Eye did test Midoriya, but not in the same way. He tested his character in multiple other ways. And, and Midoriya convinced Night Eye to let him work study with him. And he would go on patrol with, with that Mirio. Uh, Once going on patrol with Mirio, Midoriya would have many, many encounters. Even one with a well, what well, wouldn't have? Well, would have an encounter with that of a young girl. She seemed quite scared and was running from something. Midori was very well prepared to do so. In his hand was an, was an arrow, an explosive arrow to be precise, pointed out, ready to draw if necessary. This is then when a man I in a bug mask man. came out, but, claiming uh, to be Ares' father. Right? And Midori could clearly see that the girl had been tortured by the man. Arrow in his eyes, when he began to move his glove down, he see the girl stiffen. Midori would, uh, would secretly nudge Mirio before looking Looks down like at the girl and moving his arm, like signifying for this stuff, to hold huh? her and not let her and do not let her Why do bad guys never seem to understand the gods have done? Well, Midori would shoot a... Uh, he would shoot his explosive arrow, and exploding right before the man's face, knocking off that of his The man in shock would give Midori enough time to grab Eri with um, that of uh, Mirio, and would zip right to another building. That the man angered when not a career to attack them, but they're out in trouble. <sighs> <laughs> the man was scared. <laughs> Knowing that that kid was the billionaire child, Izuku Midori. <laughs> he was a CEO and had a very high standing in society. But he vowed to revenge on that kid. <laughs> anyway, Uchi Saki now trying to take on Midori. And Midori escaped with both Mary and Mary. Mary telling him to let her go back to him. He doesn't want her to him to hurt any other, anybody else. Only for Midori to say that there was no need. He can't hurt anyone else because he's not here. They're near, near him anymore. He would tell Eri that she's free now. And he's going to get her. He's going to place her somewhere safe. Midori decides before telling Mirio to grab Eri to follow him. As they head out of... Uh, Midori calls for a driver. They head out... Uh, I can't remember where city specifically is um, Night Eye's agency, but in Musatafu, where the head, where the headquarters of where the where the want to give our anti-aircraft turret training program a spin. Midoriya consolidated building headquarters is. I like a good Midoriya will take him air, air, air on the winning side. into a safe house, calling for me. Um. <laughs> Calling for a maid service under a pseudonym Oliver Queen. It would tell Mario this is a safe house, it's not registered in a bank account or anything else, so it has no ties to the industry. Will be Doria consolidated for his name whatsoever. Saying the phone he called for a maid on was under the pseudonym Oliver Queen and a butler. They will look after Ari. Telling me, um, Someone telling me, you know, to stay, um, that they, um, that they will arrive soon and they will hide in the shadows. I went into when the workers do come, he will tell them that their job is to look out for the girl and not to tell anyone that she's here since she's being protected. Before they leave to go to Night Eye and report to him the situation, Night Eye will scold Midoriya for such a reckless thing, endangering Mirio's life along with that little girl. Thing had his arrow not had his arrow not shook Chisaki. Then there's a chance the two of them would be dead along with that girl and many other people. Before telling, before he would dismiss them, and his letter they would be brought in for a hero raid. But Midoriya would have to sit down. There was honestly nothing he could do besides give support from a distance to the stragglers who tried to run out the building. And that's exactly what Midori would do. 
with Eri not in the situation, Shisaki actually ha- actually does not. He although he doesn't give up, and Mirio is hit with cannon. Shisaki doesn't kill e- um, anyone, and not everyone who dies, like not not who dies in his art, does still die. Oh boy, Shisaki and this we got our shield away. for real. But he would have to find the shadows and rebuild from the shadows. There is no chance of him even. Then what? Much obliged. But no, actually, I see. I did give Muriel one fall, so Muriel would most definitely take down Tazaki because his phasing quirk for him, his quirk would allow him to do much more now that he had the strength boost of one for all over his bo- strength and speed boost from one for all on his body, and then the increase in power oh, of yeah. his quirk, oh, yeah. which could allow him oh, to do yeah. multiple things. Such as phasing through people, um, or being in a constant state of intangibility in certain points, allowing him to maintain contact with the ground while the rest of his upper body remains tangible. Intangible is the like his feet remain tangible while the upper rest of his body remains intangible, allowing him to not be hit and him to make him tangible at will. So honestly, yeah, Saki would still be defeated in this. I forgot that I did want him to get third one for all. And with Sasaki now being defeated, Midoriya would now take on his own personal mission. He needed to end things now. And he know that should he let Shigaraki continue to grow freely, he caused so much of a problem. Midoriya will get many leads. <clears throat> will have many leads. Using facial recognition on any um through it, he would eventually find Shigaraki being moved to some secret facility. He didn't know what it was. But when it was registered under the name of Shigaraki, not Tomura Shigaraki, but Shigaraki just like a name. Or was and another name, Tsubasa. As in Dr. Tsubasa, the man who had given him his, well, the man who had told him he was perkless. Midori began to investigate and found that Tsubasa, Tsubasa was doing experiments on Shigaraki. Deciding to take Shigaraki out then and there. Now, most of the war that happens after this, I don't believe happens without Shigaraki. So Midori would manage to stop the experiment. It would take Shigaraki out permanently. It was Shigaraki, everyone, no one knowing of what had happened to Shigaraki after this point. Midori could clearly get away with the murder of both of these men, Tsubasa and Shigaraki. Means that Off One doesn't eventually get free from Tartarus. Rather, he stays there as does Nagant. None of the things oh, yeah. that happen post this oh, yeah. happen. And oh, I've seen yeah. Dorian and his Shock. Those classmates are growing up without moves. war or the death of many pro heroes. Uh, Thou hast seen and nothing much yet. Else. From here, we can time skip many, many years. Yo, ready Future for this? with Deku being crowned the number five hero. And I said many, many years. He was quite popular and an inspiration to those who either had weak I'm quirks styling, I'm or moving, no I'm shaking, I'm There moving, was an increase I'm in quirks for students coming to hero schools with their own fish. Time to uh, bust this groove to the outcome of becoming baby. heroes, even if they were quirkless. Proceed, diminutive here, mortal. It Jordan. is your birth date. Take we shall revel as though it were your uh, birthday. Or being crowned, I believe I said the number five hero. While Bakugo, while Todoroki himself would become the next number one hero, obviously. And, well, well, actually, Todoroki wouldn't be number one. He'd be number two, just like ah! Endeavor was. And I said his Endeavor Howdy. was. Endeavor was. And number I, one would not be Bakugo, but would rather be Mary, you who would uh, you know what to do. Uh, remain as the title of Symbol of Peace. <laughs> this has been a long one. If I'm tired as shit, I'm not going to lie. I haven't been asleep in a while. I've been on since like 3 o'clock. And it's currently 3.32 p.m. So, I'll be like 3 o'clock in the morning. Trying to get this one in file because it's supposed to be out by the end of the day. So, I'm going to try to get it out by the end of the day. I was supposed to record this yesterday, but I was out all day yesterday. A lot of the day yesterday. Mm. Then once I got back, since I hadn't slept for a while, I fell right the fuck asleep. But it's been a pretty tiring what if. Not that I didn't enjoy it. I am glad to come back to what ifs. 
I will see you guys in the next one. Um, if you don't like how I finished it, just critique me in the next one. But I hope you enjoyed this what if in the story so far. I hope to improve my storytelling a bit through, throughout the next couple of what ifs and going on into the future. Let me know your critiques down in the comments. And this is your boy, What If Entertainment, leaving for now.